let's take a look at some important information on the real-world range you can expect from your ID. Sometimes we are asked, why won't my car go quite as far as the range figures in the brochure? It's a question we hear from petrol and diesel customers as well, and here's why. All EVs on sale, just like internal combustion cars, must state their standard range according to the Worldwide Harmonised Light Vehicle Test Procedure, or WLTP for short. It's a legal requirement. Every car, regardless of manufacturer, goes through a specific, standardised test cycle on a rolling road in a laboratory. In the 30-minute test, cars go through strong acceleration and deceleration cycles at a variety of set speeds, over different gradients and inclines, and at a specific temperature. And a test can never truly replicate real-world driving conditions. There's just too many variables, which is why the test range is unlikely to be achieved on the road. So what's the point in having it? Well, the real value in the WLTP test figures is their consistency. As the test is standardised, it means the figures generated can be used to make accurate and fair comparisons between models and manufacturers. But it still doesn't answer the original question about real-world range. How far will your ID really go on a full charge if we're saying it won't deliver the WLTP range? Well, very generally, you can assume your real-world range may be roughly 75 to 80% of the WLTP tested range, if you're not accelerating hard all the time. This is indicative and can be different for different people. Check out the range calculator on our website to understand more about how certain factors can influence your range. Things like aggressive acceleration, the type of driving you're doing, urban, extra-urban, or a combination of the both, the weather and the temperature will all have an effect on the range. It's exactly the same as for internal combustion vehicles. If you're accelerating hard in a petrol or diesel car, you'll use more fuel and decrease your range. Broadly speaking, electric vehicles are no different. When you first get your ID, there will be a period, about 300 miles of driving, where you're both getting to know each other. Your ID will take this time to learn about your driving habits and start to use these to more accurately predict your range. Clever stuff.